three five Lanai and we're with the inspector and we're performing our inspection the um, kind of want to go over some of the things that are need to be fixed pretty pretty immediately um, as you can see the neighbor was kind enough to slice us with some power while we while we do the inspection here and um, uh, just looking at the exterior of the property, one thing that we do have an issue with is the fence. This fence does belong to this property. Um, you know, it would probably be nice to get a new panel here, at least one new panel, maybe two or three. They're not that expensive, maybe four, four new panels um, and a couple two-by-fours or four-by-fours. Um, we have some people that can put up these, these. You just dig a new hole and put that up. Probably the same people who are going to get rid of this tree. It is a pretty massive tree. I'm going to take a chainsaw and a couple of guys to uh, get it to the front. Uh, one thing I need to see is if the county has picked up all the brush already. Um, they haven't at my house, so that's something we're going to want to do pretty rapidly. But as you can see, um, a couple of these fence posts have been rotted out. And um, I don't know. That's a, we'll think about this fence. May may behoove us. It would look nice to do one, two, three, four, five, maybe six panels. They're only about forty dollars a piece, and so um, about forty-eight feet. Uh, the material cost is ten dollars a foot. Um, next, uh, the garage door is going to have to be replaced at some point. Um, you know, exterior paint. You know, there's just some stuff like this, a stucco repair. Um, pretty easy to do. Yeah, for the most part, the exterior paint probably can wait. It's nothing you're gonna have to do immediately. I'd say the interior paint's probably something you're gonna wanna do um, before you move in. So the carpet is clean and I think we should keep it um, for now, eventually change it. The ceiling does have a popcorn texture and if we're gonna be painting, I would recommend that they take off, scrape off the popcorn. It's a pretty easy job and then retexture the ceiling. It just it's not that expensive, you know, along with painting because the, the paint is kind of splotchy. It was poorly done, as you can see. It really needs a paint job. And um, pretty much all the walls. I mean, I'm just looking like they painted. You can't quite, I don't know if you could see it, but it just looks like it needed another coat of this color. And so, yeah, here you can kind of see how it just wasn't completely covered on the paint. In the master bedroom, um, this window certainly is broken. There is another broken window here. Um, it's rather than fix these windows, because they're kind of crappy windows, and windows are not that expensive, I would really recommend that we just pop these out and put in two new windows here. Um, window World sells windows like this for about 250 bucks, and we get somebody to install it for another couple hundred bucks. Um, the paint in this room actually is pretty good. If you like the beige um, you know, we have the dark carpet. This room paint is okay, but again, we have the popcorn on the ceiling, which is, just dates it. It doesn't have to be replaced, but I'd kind of recommend that you do it. Um, it's always nice to freshly paint the closet. What we do is if we just come in and spray the whole inside, it, it really just freshens it up. Um, before you move your stuff in, it's just a lot easier. In the bathroom here, um, you know, you can live with the vanity for now. Uh, we did turn the water on and uh, the inspector's gonna be looking at all the, everything to make sure that the water's all working. Um, I hate this plastic stuff on the ceiling and I would recommend that that just gets drywalled and put, put in a couple cans. This, this hole was here, I think for, I don't know if it was a towel bar. Maybe a towel holder is what I'm thinking. Um, we got a toilet paper holder. You know, pretty minor stuff here, but I mean, you could, that's starting to get a little nitpicky. I mean, the paint in here is actually pretty good. Um, you know, just a really good cleaning. Looks like there's been some leaks there that are gonna need to get uh, um, addressed or probably just painted and caulked. That's not bad, no big deal there. Um, as we move into the kitchen, there's Bill. Bill, say hi. 
Hi there. Say hi to Cece and Christine. This is Bill the inspector. Hi there. And he's going through his, his checklist. He'll be here for a couple hours going through everything. The other thing that, obviously, I hate plastic stuff on the ceilings. It's just like my pet peeve, these yellowy plastic junk. It's so easy to remove that, um, put three cans in there or four cans, um, you know, um, can lighting that and then just cover it up with some crown molding, maybe even some indirect lighting. It's an easy fix. Um, that light is horrible, the fluorescent. It'd be nice to just replace that with a pendant. It looks like there was something patched here, and if they're gonna be texturing the ceiling, it's something that they would do at the same time. Um, you know, I, it, this mirror is this mirror's built in, and it looks like they and a hat glued this on, which is actually kind of cute if you can glue, it's got shells, I, I don't know. That's fine. But again, you can just see the need for painting and, you know, really shoddy painting, a few little bits of trim, like these little pieces of trim there. And, you know, it just looks like a child painted this with uh, his fingers. And um, of course, this room, which is guest bedroom number, or this is more the den, I would say. This room, I noticed there's just a lot, of, a lot of little nail holes in the wall. They can be patched and sanded. The, the wall actually has a nice orange peel texture. Um, don't know what you feel about the tree. Um, it is a work of art, but I think I would get rid of it. Um, the question is whether we would texture all the walls. You know, you take out this nail and um, texture all the walls, which is, Easy enough to do prime and paint. It's just like one extra step. Um, this is bedroom number, this guest bedroom number one. No other broken windows. Again, we have some artistic creation here. I hate this color. This color's gotta go. So this room just has to be painted. But in terms of the, you know, again, these just little like thumbtacks and posters been put on the wall, you know. I think we could touch them up, but there are some spots where I see it's been patched and might want to texture it just to make it perfect. It, it depends, but you know, like this closet needs to be painted, obviously. Looks like, again, a child painted this. This bathroom, <clears throat> vanity's old, but it, it's okay. Uh, the tub and tile is probably fine. Um, looks like there was something here. Again, we have this plastic stuff on the ceiling. I would definitely change it and put in some can lighting just to update it. Maybe even put a medicine cabinet. This is this bedroom, these walls are really bad. It looks like a kid had stuff hanging all over this. There's so many holes in this wall. Look how many holes. I don't know if we can see this on the camera, but you can just see there's, a t it's like they stapled or something. This wall really needs to be textured and um, patched and textured and painted. Closet, can use some paint. But again, this carpet, is, the carpet in all the bedrooms is actually very nice. It's like they recently did it. Um, there is a dead lizard. He can stay. Um, walking all the way back around into the laundry room and the garage. You know, it's just kind of grimy and you know, there was a dog scratching at the door here. That probably can be scraped and painted. Um, let me just see, this is uh, AC. Washer dryer hookup. It, it would be nice to paint this laundry room. And again, the popcorn ceiling, really would like to see that scraped. In the garage, too much effort to scrape the popcorn. I would just leave it, it's a garage. But I have to say this garage door is probably at the end of its life. Um, let me just try it while we're here. Yeah, almost works. Well, kind of. I mean, it, it is working. The garage isn't bad. I, you really don't have to do anything. Somebody spilled paint here and left a sock in it. Um, you know, that's got to be cleaned up. I don't know, if you're spraying, it would be nice just to spray, I, I don't know. The garage floor could be painted, but that's something you'd be down the road. So those are kind of the major repairs, I would say. I would definitely think an interior paint job, uh, fixing the fence, um, fixing the fence, interior paint job, couple windows, 
and whatever else Bill the inspector finds um, that I don't see from a cosmetic standpoint. So I'm Jules Roman.